What's going on YouTube? I'm here laying in the floor. We got the Joy Bonnet hooked up to the Raspberry Pi Zero. But I want to talk about the screens and my situation going on with the screens. Um, as you guys remember in the first video, I ended up getting RetroPie running. But not as this good. Not as good as this. And this is just because it's straight up HDMI. Going HDMI right out the Raspberry Pi. And I didn't have to do no coding or nothing like that. I mean, I do want to flip the screen. So that way, um, when I get ready to make the case, build the case, you know, I can have like the HDMI going towards the HDMI and then down at the bottom because of sound, I can plug up a speaker or use headphones. Um, she's going to really like that. But the screen resolution is, you know, it's the same. No, I think it's more. I don't know. I don't see it, but it's a Kumin 3.5 LCD display. And if my phone, the infamous, trying to show people on YouTube and then your phone don't want to show up. But I uh, got it off Amazon. It was like 28 bucks. And I had like, no, I think it was like 36 bucks or something like that. It was 30 something. And then I had like $7 credit gift card. So I uh, got the screen. This screen, um, it works with RetroPie on Xavier's Raspberry Pi Zero. I didn't get the touch on it um, working. I didn't put the coding in on the touch on that. I'm going to teach him how to do it. So that's what we're going to use that screen for. Um, but running RetroPie, the, the GPIO um, forcing the HDMI back to the GPIO for visual to run that type of, you know, even though games don't, I guess they don't take up that much, but I mean, moving that stuff with all the frame buffer and everything, it takes up a lot. And as you can see this, you know, there's a lot of chips on it, but not that many compared to, if I move this, I already know it's going to blank out. There's something wrong with the power. Well, we got a nice big processor on the Kumin. Let me try. I ended up cutting the, uh, just a couple minutes ago, I just cut the GPIO off because I don't care about touch. I don't need touch. It's going to be a Raspberry Pi build. And then if she do want to use Raspbian, you know, she can just use a mouse. I'll have a little keyboard. But here's the resolution. It's 480 by 320. Um, version 1.0. Let's see what this one is. All right. That's not telling me the screen resolution. All right, maybe uh, nowhere on the box. Okay. Um, but it was very hard to try and uh, get the touch working. They had an image that I found on, like, um, it was, like, the wiki page for this uh, Key Studio screen that I, you know, I tried to go through the wiki page, and I tried to get um, all that running. I mean, I even put Raspy, and like I said, I got Raspy on Xavier's Pi. And it just, I could not get this screen to uh, work either. Like when I was trying to, I used like like that wave share video that I made. I'm sorry for you guys if you guys did what I did. It it just did like a rainbow screen. Like it was like the first boot up and it was just a rainbow screen and there was nothing. I mean, I sat there for like two hours. You know, go back to the Xbox, play the game, switch back to HDMI 1. Dang, it's still a rasp, you know. <laughs> So I erased it, put uh, Raspbian um, Stretch back on there, and then I just uh, put the dependencies on there for the GPIOs. He don't have GPIOs on his uh, Raspberry Pi, so I went back and put it back to HDMI. But once I put the HDMI, uh, or the, G the GPIO pins on his Raspberry Pi. This is sitting right up here. Ugh. He's got a little case. Um, it actually came with the GPIO case that I used to put Christine's Joy Bonnet on her. So I stole the GPIOs out of that case so I could put her G Joy Bonnet. I like playing with this little Joy Bonnet. It's, it's really fun. Um, really, really cool little controller and everything. I like it a lot. Let's see here. I feel like I can I play Mega Man so much. I, I can hear the sound like no, it's that's gameplay. Let me see here. You know, it's really bright and really glary. It's still got the, you know, the peel sticker. I'm waiting until we get it all in the case. 
and then we'll peel that. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is my GoPro SD card. I gotta steal this back. But right now it's got raspy on it. Um, and then we're just gonna have his sit just like that, and then he'll be able to run his screen. There was no instructions that came in this box. You know, nothing. But this Cumin, I unboxed it, and then it came with, just like ETA Prime said, I don't know if he had a Cumin. I don't know if he ordered a Cumin. I don't know. It was, whatever one he came with, it came with a CD too. I got a CD drive, but I didn't use this. I just went on the website, you know, that's for the touch and stuff. And I think that might have, you know what? I'm going to see, because I think this actually has a, a, a writing or a, a image, yeah. Document, driver, and image software. So it might have an image with touch and Raspbian. And that would be cool if it's Jesse, because I can't find a doggone file of Jesse nowhere. They always got, they got stretch on raspberrypie.org right now. And this screen was supposed to come with a stylus. So he gets a stylus now. Because this screen, the HDMI screen, came with a stylus. And it came with this cool little um, HDMI connector, which I'm not going to use. But I was wondering if I could cut it in half and then solder, match all the wires up and solder in half so I can make me like a little shorty HDMI cable. But I need like other wires, you know, and interference and noise and stuff. So I need to insulate the wires. So I'm going to think long and hard if I should cut this in half and try and make this into like a shorty HDMI cable or I'll just go on there and order a HDMI cable but um, next I think I will try and do that and see if I can get this screen to work with this image software I don't know but I gotta order some more GPIO pins first and um, tomorrow uh, me and my wife are gonna have a special unboxing for you guys so yeah can't wait um i don't know if you guys want to write down in the comments what you guys think about the special unboxing tomorrow what it's going to be let me know in the comments you know guess could be a new rc car could be a new go-kart i don't know could be a new heat gun the parts for my wife's mini bike that i'm almost getting done i don't know if i showed you guys that but uh that's all plastic up in a rhino line uh you know, the, the clear coat stuff for automotive. So I was thinking this, you know, just a little bit of gold in it. But yeah. All right. Like, share, subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get back working on this. Probably play some spin tires and some Xbox One. Take a break from all this. And uh, steal my dog on SD card backs. Tomorrow they got school. I want to go crawl my Bronco. I've been driving that thing around, so I think it's due time that we get a run video on it. Anyways, it's already got blood on it. But like, share, subscribe. Peace and love, you guys. That's the Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, my wife's handheld build that I'm doing. Alright, you guys. Check you later.